All right, guys, so a lot of y'all's been waiting on this. Here it is, the brand new Harbor Freight six drawer full bank roll car. Let's dive into this thing, come on. Here it is, the brand new Harbor Freight full bank six drawer roll cart. I know I gave a little teaser of this already on Instagram, um, but this is how it came shipped. You can see it's strapped, it's double palleted. And I think the reason why they did that is to keep the forklift damage from happening because we all know that nobody hits anything with a forklift that they're not supposed to, right? But this is probably how it's gonna come packaged it may just be on the single pallet if you pick it up from the store, or it may be installed, all the wheels put on it, all that good stuff. I don't know. But we're gonna unbox it, and I'm gonna show you how to put the casters on it and the handle on it. So, let's get to it. Alright, so before I clip these straps, I'm going to go ahead and get this pallet off of the bottom pallet. That way we don't have to worry about anything tilting over or getting dumped out. Alright, as you can see, it's not too heavy. You can manage to do it yourself. And I got a plan on how to tilt this over to install the casters. That way it'll be super easy. So let me get this pallet out of the way, we'll cut these straps and get it unboxed. I'm super excited to uh, to see what it looks like. Um, I talked to the Icon team and some of the guys from Harbor Freight uh, several months ago, and I knew it was coming, but this is the first time to uh, get to lay eyes on it, so pretty excited. I figure it's gonna be like most tool truck boxes. As you guys know, Snap-on has their stuff sent here, um, and I've seen the hundreds of these unboxed. So I figure the top just slides up. It does. They've been packaged. Like a snap on. Alright, so what my plans are is to lay this behind it. And that way I can tilt it over without damaging it to get the casters put on it. That's my plan, anyway. Put that here. So there you guys can see kind of the first look at it. Black on black, on black, 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 black badges, black pulls, really nice looking cart. comes with three keys, so that's a good thing. Just want to unlock it. 
unlock the drawer so we can have access inside. Because I assume everything we need is going to be down here in the bottom drawer. There's the handle. And these will be the catch and the paperwork. So that's awesome. So the next step I'm going to do is lay this box back on the cardboard box so I can access the bottom and uh, get the casters put on it. All right, guys, as you see, we've got it laid back. Um, I just pulled the styrofoam piece off the front. We laid it back on the box. We can get over here and I'll show you kind of the reasoning behind the way I did this. Um, you can see how I got it on this versus letting it be on the concrete because I didn't want the, the paint obviously to get scratched up. So what my plans are, I'm going to put the casters on it, I'm going to raise it up, kick this out of the way, and use this piece that was on the very top to slide under there to keep paint from getting scratched up. Now some of you guys might not care, but I personally don't really want to get it scratched up. So what I've done is unboxed the box of casters, and you can see they're here. So come close with the camera. Let me show you how guys how nice these are. So all four swivel. It does have a grease fitting alamite on it, and they are lockable. So that's really nice. So we got four casters, all swivel, all locking. All right, so you got a bag of bolts, obviously four bolts to each caster. These are a 13 millimeter. I'm going to use a quarter inch impact to put them on just because I'm lazy. Obviously, if you don't have an impact, a ratchet will work fine or a wrench, whatever you need to do. But I'm pretty lazy, so I'm going to use an impact just because I got it and why not? So, should be easy enough. I'm just going to get it started and get me a second one in it before I tighten them up. And we'll just repeat the process for the other three casters left. Awesome that they used all swivel casters. Because I've seen several instances where I wished I could roll my snap on box straight back away from what I was working on and I couldn't. Because they have fixed casters on the opposite end of the handle. If you guys are storing your box every day and you want to push it against the wall, it's going to make it a whole lot easier to just push it against the wall. And I give you one extra bolt. Or maybe not everybody got an extra bolt, but I got an extra bolt. Alright, so that's got all four wheels on. So my next step, I'm going to pick it up, kick this out of the way, put the cardboard under it. Then my plans are to lock these wheels. And that way it should grab on the concrete and allow me to flip it up by myself without having to have any kind of assistance. 
All right. So it wasn't as easy as I thought picking it up. It was a lot heavier than I thought it was. So I actually had most of the weight. I just had to get my wife to kind of help me get that last little nudge over. But locking the back wheels definitely makes the pivot point a lot easier to do. So the last step we're gonna do is install the handle and it'll be complete. Yeah, for you guys doubting the uh, the sturdiness of this box, I had my hand right here pulling on it and picked up the weight of the whole entire box. So uh, it ain't no joke. It's it's heavy. It's not a cheap made roll card. I can I can promise you that. So definitely have a buddy with you to stand it back up. You can lay it down on its own because if you lay the box behind it like I did, it kind of just lays right down into place. It's not an issue, but just to be on the safe side for your back and your hernias, or the prevention, <laughs> prevention of hernias, it'd probably be best to have a buddy help you. So it comes with, looks like four bolts, four flat washers. Put the flat washers on the bolts first. And then we'll be ready to install the handle. And these are offset, so it's designed to go one way only. So what I'm gonna do is start these and then they provide you with the Torx head L key to tighten them down. You can see this Mississippi hot humidity has got me leaking. My head's leaking. Leaking over everywhere. Welcome to the south. Alright, so that's got it installed. So the next thing I'll do, clean up my mess here. We'll roll it over here next to my snap-on box and that way we can compare it side by side, height-wise, width-wise, and all of that. But before we do, I want to show you how the back of the box looked. And you can see how just letting it lay down against that box, the way it kind of crushed it down, it worked perfectly. So that's a good way you can do it without wrecking your back. And you can see here, absolutely no damage at all to the cart. No scuffs, no skins, no scrapes. Everything's nice and perfect like it should be. So let's roll this thing over there and we'll take a look at it next to the snap-on box and open it up and let you guys see the drawers and all the functions and features that it's got. All right, so it's got nice big casters on it. They roll with really well. As you guys can see, I don't have even surfaces at all in the shop. As you see, we'll, we'll hit one in just a minute. And I refer to them as the ski jumps. Um, smaller wheel roll carts don't do very well here at all. Like I've got a Blue Point two drawer cart. I know you guys have seen them and it sucks in this shop, but because of the way these are with the larger casters, I feel like it's gonna handle them just fine. No problems. All right guys, as you all know this, this roll cart, I've had it for a long time. I love it, it's the snap-on full bank six drawer, slide top. As you can see, it's the same height as the new U.S. General. Um, this box is deeper, I believe. I'm, I'm going to measure it, and that way we can see. But I think this box is deeper. All right, so the snap-on is 19 and 3 quarters from the back edge to the front edge right here. The actual box dimensions, 19 and 3 quarter. And the U.S. General is 
just over 22, maybe 22 and a quarter deep. So, as you can see here when we open the lid, they've included the screwdriver holes here in the front, as well as pry bar storage back here. So the top lip is three quarters of an inch. So we can add that to the top depth here. And for the pry bar storage, they give you six and seven eighths plus three quarters of an inch. So you're looking at about seven and a quarter just to be on the safe side of handle height on your pry bars. The overall width of this box from side to side is 33 inches of storage space. The snap-on is a 40 inch box. So let's compare the drawers now. All right, so it's got the slide lock lever up here in the top that you lock and unlock your six drawers with. And it's got the underneath here, just like under here, where you slide it to the left and you can open your drawers. So let's compare the drawer depth from front to back, you have, it looks like, maybe it'd be better to do it this way because it's kind of recessed under there. You have 19 and a half inches from front to back storage and inside drawer you have 27 and three quarter inches wide and they are three and three quarters inches deep. Each one of these does have the non-skid drawer liner in it. Single slide drawers. <coughs> Looks like you have five of the same depth drawer. In the bottom, you have a double slide. This drawer is six and three quarters inches deep on it. It's also got a non-skid drawer liner in it. And bring the camera over here because this is one of my favorite features of the box. All right, so you can see the drawer comes fully open so that it extends past the front of the other drawer. That's kind of one of my pet peeves. A lot of times when you have, you know, obviously you're gonna use the bigger drawer for your cases. You have cases in here. A lot of roll carts will only open to like there a pain in the butt to get them out. These extend full so if you got something flat against the back of that drawer you can get it out with ease. But all the drawers fully extend. You can say I can put my fingers behind it. That's a really good feature. I like the fact that Harbor Freight gave three keys. That way you can hide a key, keep one on your ring, and you can have a spare, whatever. Because we've all been there, we've all drove to work and realized, oh crap, my keys are at home. Once again, if you're gonna roll your box around, you lock it here and you're good to go. The drawers won't come open. But I believe they still won't come open even with this lock and latch system that they have. Snap-on has been doing this for a long time. It works really well. Guys are used to that design. It's super easy to grab. I personally like that better than the detents because you don't have to yank on the drawers to get them out like you do with the detents. Is they've added a pass through here so you can run a power strip in here. It's got a rubber gasket on it, but you can loosen this up, take it off. That way you can run power strips through the back of your box and be able to have power in here, whether you want to charge your laptop or your scanners or anything else. It's a really cool design. I'm glad that they added that feature. But you can see it's got the tubular lock design. So if you lose your key, the keys are numbered as well as the lock is numbered. So you can order more. Super simple design, but it works really well. Like I say, you can lock the top leave your drawers open so if you want to set stuff on top you ain't got to worry about trying to raise up 
you can get some bed liner or some of the rubber matting and put on here. That's what I've used on my blue roll cart across the shop for a long time. That rubber mat will protect it. Or if you really wanted to get fancy with it, you can do just like this, get you some bed liner, put on there. But these are super, super, super awesome carts. I like the design. I think they did a great job on them. I like the color scheme that they have. I like the full bumpers that they offer. Like this, and this is extremely similar in cart designs. The materials that's used, it feels like the same gauge thickness on the drawers. Like it's really hard to tell these apart, especially looking down at them like this. But this is $699 and I think I paid $2,400 for the slide top snap-on when I got it. So for you guys that are looking to get into a roll cart or looking to add a roll cart to your arsenal, it's amazing. I work out of this box every single day. My big box just holds all of my extra stuff, my cases, tools that I don't use very much. And pretty much all SAE stuff is in that box. I have one set of sockets and a small set of wrenches in this box. But everything I use on a daily basis pretty much is in this roll cart and I go to the, the big box just when I need something special. It's a lot easier to roll this right up next to the vehicle. You have everything you need from meters, test leads, sockets, ratchets, wrenches, you name it. It's all in there. Impacts, all that good stuff. But for you guys that's thinking about adding a roll cart, it's a, it's a huge time saver in the shop. It's a lot easier just to reach over there and get it out of your roll cart versus walk across the shop to get whatever you need. I think this will do perfectly fine, and it's a huge money saver versus a tool truck box, as you can see here. But hopefully this will clear up a lot of questions that you guys may have on the U.S. General Cart. I know they're offering it in all the colors that they have, the regular roll carts. So when they get to the stores, you'll have plenty of choices. I know they got the orange like this and the blue like my old snap-on box. I've heard they're not going to have the white one. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But like I say, this murdered that black one is really nice. Anyway, guys, that's my video today. Hopefully, you liked it and you learned a little something about the brand new single bank Harbor Freight six drawer roll cart. And if you like this video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free, never costs you guys a dime. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.